This weekend, we're building the ultimate toboggan. I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> For the ultimate toboggan, we're going to attach four skis to a hitch mount cargo carrier. The skis will be shortened down to allow the sled to easily hang off the back of the truck. To the carrier, we'll attach two vehicle captain's chairs for seating. On the front of the toboggan, we'll mount a capstan winch that Walker's bringing along. Rather than wrap all the rope onto a spool like a regular winch, the capstan winch will pull the toboggan along the line, tied off at the top. The ride up the hill will be very slow, so we're gonna build a mini tea bar for refreshments during our long journey. We'll uh, see what we've got around and see what we can figure out with the design. <laughs> These are heavy as a problem. We picked these chairs up as uh, an idea for some fire pit seating that never really worked out. Are you kidding me? But we held on to them because we knew they were going to be useful for something and they fit perfectly in the cargo carrier. <laughs> that never happens. So the next steps on the toboggan is to test out our chainsaw winch to see if it's strong enough to pull the sled. I don't think this is how people who know how to do this do it. We're doing a mock-up by attaching some lines to a tree to see how much weight it'll pull. Going back up the hill with this capstan thing could take an hour. So right now we're putting the mounts for the skis on the cargo carrier, and then we can attach the skis. Usually I'm worried about uh, our things not working. I'm worried about this <laughs> thing working too well. We also need to think about brakes. What about even an eye bolt? Got a hole in it, just stick a pipe in, drag it. Yeah, the plan right now is to bolt the chairs to the frame. We need to make sure the seats are well attached to the frame. Uh, we don't want anything flying off. And then I think there is the winch <laughs> to deal with. We would have liked to just kind of mount it stationary in one spot and have it live there. If it was mounted to the frame for the ride down, that would be handy. But for safety reasons, we think we're gonna ride with it on the back of the sled on the way down the hill and then pick it up, move it to the front for the way back up. We don't want the whole thing to tip backwards. So we might want to keep a couple long skis, but. It also needs to fit on the back of our truck. Uh, Junior just lost a little game, so he's got to be the guy who climbs up the hill, attaches the rope. As soon as he does that, comes back down, we'll hook up our sled and pull ourselves up, and then we're ready to come back down. This is how you take the effort out of tobogganing. <laughs> When we went up the hill, it was so relaxing and so peaceful that I was kind of lulled into this false sense of calm. What do you think? Can't believe it worked that well. Love you, brother. It's been nice knowing you. See you in heaven. Or hell. <laughs> oh, sh. Oh, oh. oh, 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 <laughs> she dug in a little. Oh, a little. <laughs> Try it again? Yeah, for sure. Turned it around and came back down. Oh. Yeah. Came whoa, back. whoa. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. We better bail, man. We better bail. Bail, 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 bail. bail, bail. <laughs> It was terrifying. The thing was basically out of control. We got some good speed. <laughs> so had to uh, give the, the secret command word, bail, 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 to get out of it. And I hopped out, and Junior came a little bit later. I didn't hear him even say bail, bail, bail. He must have whispered it. Oh, man. Our cargo box is done. And then the sled crashed into a tree and broke itself in half. I think we just found a way to make sledding more dangerous. Mm -hmm.